The following program is a production of HEW Entertainment, heard on the official website of HEW Entertainment. It's that time once again for HEW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. Go be the man. You gotta be the man. Whoa. Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1-641-985-7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada and would like to call us, call us from 1-647-724-4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the World Heavyweight Champion 10 times. Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace. Emailing us works for you too. Email us at H-E-W-Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god. J-B-L. J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of HEW Entertainment Radio on the official website of HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Wah. The champ is here! Streaming live on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. HW Entertainment Radio is inviting you to comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. Comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. So what are you waiting for? Log on and listen now.
like California Sounding like those New York lights on Broadway She feels like Carolina Looks like California Shining like those New York lights on Broadway When she looks back, I'm behind her I'll always be there for her talked about for months. What will Shawn Michaels do at WrestleMania 30? It's definitely one of the top five rumors about discussion for WrestleMania this year. Who do you want to see Shawn Michaels wrestle if in fact he were to come out of retirement? Do you want to see Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker for a third time at WrestleMania? Do you want to see Shawn Michaels versus Daniel Bryan, which has been teased since October? Do you want to see CM Punk versus Shawn Michaels, which was recently put over on a Raw Super Show prior to CM Punk facing the Shield in a six-man tag with the fucking Usos? Who do you want to see Shawn Michaels face at WrestleMania? Let me know on our Facebook page. You can hashtag it to us on Twitter. You can even throw it up in the comments of this week's video. The headline for this week's video on our YouTube. I'm using it in the graphic. Hashtag one more match for Mr. WrestleMania. In 2011, he cut a very interesting promo where he said to wrestling fans that he would do everything in his power to make sure that that did not happen. That he did not come into retirement. That he did not have one more match. Do you think? Shawn Michaels can make an exception to all of his fans. I mean, he's got millions out there. You think Michaels can come out of retirement, even if it was just for one night. I mean, it's WrestleMania 30. I mean, I think that on the greatest night of WrestleMania history, he can come out of retirement. I mean, he's a huge part of WWE. He's a huge part of WrestleMania. He's even been described as Mr. WrestleMania as one of his catchphrases. I think he can do it. I mean, look at how big of a part he is for WWE 2K14. The match with Bret Hart is in there. The match with Ric Flair is in there. The series of matches with The Undertaker is in there. There is not a moment that Shawn Michaels has given us at WrestleMania that has been left out of WWE 2K14's 30 years of WrestleMania. He's been released as a limited edition Legends figure. He's been released as a WrestleMania trading card for years and years and years. He's just been a huge part of WrestleMania and the entire WWE for seemingly forever. Not to mention that he's my favorite wrestler of all time, and I have had favorite wrestlers. My favorite wrestlers have ranged from everyone to Edge, to Kurt Angle, to The Undertaker, to the, even The Rock of recency when The Rock came back. But my all-time definitive favorite wrestler and in-ring performer of all time has been Shawn Michaels. Hall of Fame announcer Jim Ross has said, that Shawn Michaels has never been outperformed in a big match situation. And I mean, really, has Shawn Michaels really ever been outperformed in a big match situation? No. Maybe The Undertaker, you can make an exception there with how many moments The Undertaker has had at WrestleMania. I will admit to that. The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania's 25 and 26 were incredible matches. The Undertaker might have outperformed him on that night. Even that is arguable. But anyone else that Shawn Michaels has been in the ring with at WrestleMania, or regardless of who he has been in the ring with over the past 25 through 26 years, I mean, it's been a quarter of a century. Shawn Michaels has never been outperformed. No matter if he fought Bret Hart, no matter if he fought Razor Ramon, no matter if he fought Big Daddy Cool Diesel, he always found a way of outperforming everyone he was in the ring with. i got to give it up to Jim Ross for saying that that has arguably the greatest quote that Jim Ross ever made as an announcer, no matter who he announced with, he never outperformed himself as an announcer when he always put over Shawn Michaels. I mean, in my opinion, Michaels gave us some of the greatest matches of all time. If you're just to do a YouTube search of Shawn Michaels matches, I mean, you will see that Shawn Michaels has never been outperformed. He has never been outperformed in five-star matches. And in my opinion, if you were to compare the lists 
of five star matches that Bret Hart gave us, that The Undertaker gave us, that Stone Cold Steve Austin gave us. Shawn Michaels gives us more five star matches than absolutely anyone. And if he's ever been given a reason to come out of retirement, that is now. He was recently given the LaBelle Lock by Daniel Bryan. He was recently teased in GTS from CM Punk. CM Punk said that he was even brought back to being a 12 year old fan of Shawn Michaels. So in my opinion, it's going to come down to this. Either Shawn Michaels versus Daniel Bryan, or Shawn Michaels versus CM Punk, or as a third scenario, it's going to be Shawn Michaels versus CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan in a three-way. It's got to happen at some point, and in my opinion, it's got to happen at WrestleMania 30. Uh, I think that now with Triple H being the COO, uh, with how many times Shawn Michaels has always been posed the question of will you give us one more match, with how many times it's been chanted every time Shawn Michaels even makes an appearance on Raw, on pay-per-views, uh, it needs to fucking happen. And if it doesn't happen at WrestleMania, it's going to leave me and it's going to leave millions of other Shawn Michaels fans very, very upset, at least. If you were going to have Shawn Michaels in a match at WrestleMania 30, you would be guaranteed to see at least one pure wrestling match, no matter who it was against. It could even be Shawn Michaels versus Alberto Del Rio. If it was Shawn Michaels versus Alberto Del Rio, I'll use that as an example. At least that would be a pure wrestling match. Now, I know every year the Undertaker's match is looked at as the best match on the card because you want to know if the Undertaker is going to go to 22 and 0, you want to know if the Undertaker is going to retain his streak at WrestleMania. You want to know what was going to happen for the Undertaker. So that is obviously looked at as a pure wrestling match. But I mean, what else?